Hello, how are you? What is up? Welcome back to the vlogs. It has been a hot minute since I have been able to pick up the camera and vlog for you guys and bring you along for a day in my life, but we are back. I took a brief pause because I had a lot of like more main form kind of blue lemon content that I was working on and also a little sponsorship post with Sephora. So if you haven't seen that, please go watch it and give it some love. It would mean a lot if you did. So thank you so much if you've already watched that video but I am glad to be back vlogging. Hudson is already down for his first nap of the day so I decided to pick up the camera and start off this vlog. It is already Thursday so I don't think this is going to be like a full week in my life, probably just like a couple days but I wanted to bring you guys along for it and I've honestly missed you so we're back with the vlogs. Honestly though, I feel like I should be napping too because I've been up since 4 a.m. this morning. It is Thursday, so it's We Made Too Much Thursday at Lululemon. And if you don't know, Lululemon adds new markdowns every Thursday morning at 7.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 5 a.m. my time. But usually Hudson's up at like 4-ish for like a diaper change and feed. So it's been a long morning for me already. <laughs> and I already feel like I've had a full day of activities and stuff but it is literally 9 48 a.m i feel like i'm in for a long day and i will probably need a nap at some point but the other plans for today are going to the mall i need to go to lululemon of course to film a what's new in store like shop with me type of video for tiktok and then also do some try-ons if there's new product and color comparisons actually i need to go through what color comparisons i actually need to do and pack all of those items because I always forget and I know there's lots of requests to film new color comparisons. Like I need to do Oasis Blue slash Water Drop. Dark Lavender Lilac either I actually have Lip Gloss Glaze Pink, Sonic Pink. Oh yeah, Sonic Pink versus Glaze Pink. Anyways, so I need to go through my like TikTok requests and like the requests that I just like write down to make sure that I'm not missing anything. And then I also want to go to Sephora because it is their savings event on right now and I've already done <laughs> a couple shops. But there are a few more things that I wanted to pick up that I was kind of like teetering on and like trying to take my time to decide if I really needed them slash wanted them because usually for the savings event is like the only times that I actually shop at Sephora and you know kind of stock up on all of my products and stuff. But I did pick up a few... Oops. Oh. I did pick up a few things from Sephora. I got a restock of the dew drops, the niacinamide watermelon dew drops from Glow Recipe. I got an ordinary lash brow serum that was not on promotion. And then I also got the Sephora Love the Lift mascara and I'm wearing it today because it's 30% off the Sephora collection and that makes it cheaper than the drugstore mascara I normally get. And I actually really like this mascara. I think it holds a curl to my lashes really well. Like I have very fine, thin lashes, but you know what? They're still pretty curled. I'm impressed. This vlog is probably going to be up after the event is over because that's just probably my schedule for timing, but Anyways, it's still pretty affordable even without the 30% off. So if you're looking for a new mascara, definitely check that one out. I know drugstore mascaras have gotten increasingly expensive. So, you know, check out the Sephora collection. And then I also got a Amika Soul Food mask and I used that in my hair today and it is so much softer. I've been out of my hair masks for a long time waiting for the savings events to come up so I can restock. But like, my hair just feels so soft and silky and glossy today. So that is what I picked up for my last haul. And then I think I also got the Glow Recipe BHA PHA Watermelon Toner and the Tower 28 Swipe All Over Hydrating Serum Concealer. I'm actually obsessed with this product, you guys. It is actually really, really good. I used to do the Sephora Collection concealers, but they changed their formula and product. So I was looking for a new one and this is so good. Like it blends so nicely into my skin, like perfect shade. I love it. So that is everything that I got so far from the Sephora sale. I do need a restock of my Rare Beauty liquid blush because I thought I had a lot in there. I actually looked in the tube and I'm very close to the end. So I better get another one of those because that is literally my everyday blush and I love it so much. And then I also want to get the Way Detox Shampoo because I am like almost 
out of my K18 detox shampoo and I want to switch it up this time and try that one but I do want to smell it in store and make sure that the scent is okay because some people say it's like really florally which I'm not a huge fan of like floral scents so I need to go in and smell that and then I also am thinking about getting the Summer Fridays um, lip butter balm in cherry because I'm like going through these ones so quickly I got this one not that long ago and I feel like I'm already more than halfway I feel like it's already down here so I kind of wanted a restock of that one but in a different shade this one's vanilla beige still good but I think pink sugar is my favorite and I want to try the um cherry one just to see but this is what the vanilla beige looks like super natural for me which is good though so these are like my favorite, but I want to quickly shop at Sephora, check out those few products, and then I don't really know what else we're going to get up to. We need to grocery shop at some point, but I have not even started the meal plan, so stay tuned. All right, I just somewhat finished meal planning, so here's what's on the meal plan. We've got gumbo, barbecue chicken drumsticks with rice, and I don't know what kind of veggie we'll have, maybe like broccoli or something, pizza, pasta, chicken fingers and fries because Damon is away that day so I just need something easy to make while I have Hudson and then stir fry. It's a little vague. I did not specify what kind of stir fry we're having and like what kind of pasta or what kind of veggies but it's something to go off of and I'm going to start making a grocery list now so that we can go grocery shopping maybe today. I don't know if it's going to get done today but today or tomorrow and we still need one more meal but I'm going to tag Damon in for that one. All right, we made it to the mall, but guess what I forgot? The leggings to do the color comparisons with, so, oops. Oh well, I'll have to do that next time. Okay, hey guys, it is a lot later, but thought I'd come on here and update you guys. We got home from the mall, had something to eat, and then both Hudson and I took a nap, which was definitely much needed. I feel like my nap wasn't as refreshing as I was hoping it to be, but that's okay. I ended up only getting two things in store at Sephora. So let me show you what I got. I did go with the Way Detox Shampoo. I did not actually get to smell this in store because it has like a cap on it so let's go ahead and open it and see if it actually smells okay hopefully oh actually yeah that smells really nice so I'm glad I went with this one it actually was a little bit less expensive than the k18 one so I think I'm going to like that and then I also did get a restock of the soft pinch liquid blush from rare beauty in the shade hope this is like my everyday blush color is like the perfect sorry the lighting is like really bad in here can we see that it's like a nudie pink but this is what I wear every single day and I love it but those are the only two things I got I was about to get a body scrub and it was like 40 bucks even with the discount it still would have been like 30 dollars and I was like whoa homegirl we gotta reel it in a little bit who do you think you are we are not spending 30 dollars on a body scrub and they also had like it was the Josie Moran body butters and body scrubs that I was looking at and I like the tangerine one. It was super nice but again it's a little expensive for a body lotion and body scrub that I definitely don't need so I had some self-control. Only got these two things. The other thing that I wanted to get was the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Cherry. They did not have any in store, so I might order that still. And then I also kind of want to try the Charlotte Tilbury um, Lip Cheat Liner in Pillow Talk because everyone talks about that, about it being popular. And I don't have, well, I have one lip pencil, but I actually hate it. I think 
the color was really bad and I should have probably returned it because it makes me look just like washed out and not good. So I kind of want to get that, but I don't know. I kind of spent a lot on the Sephora sale already, but I also did pop into Aritzia really quickly because they had some new colors in their sweat fleece line and I'm obsessed. I need to film my like doing buying my dream wardrobe makeover type thing soon that's a video that I have planned I'm so excited to do it I just need to sit down and film it we've had no wi-fi for the past week in the house so I didn't really want to use all my data trying to like shop around and like just online shopping and stuff so hopefully the wi-fi is set up soon and I can film that video because I'm very very excited to be I don't know buying like other clothes other than like lululemon like don't get me wrong I still love lululemon but I just feel like not as excited for some of their new pieces and stuff and like just their colors seem to be kind of repeating so I don't know I feel like I want to also dress sometimes not in athleisure wear and just be a little bit more put together or just you know have a little bit of a different fashion I guess style than just Lululemon but I'll still be doing like lots of Lululemon content as well but I'm very excited for that video so be sure to subscribe. Right now we are just waiting for Damon to come home from work so we can have some supper. I don't think we're gonna be able to grocery shop today just because it's getting a little bit late like it always seems a little bit rushed on Thursdays to like grocery shop make dinner and then get Hudson to bed on time so probably gonna have to grocery shop tomorrow and I will catch up with you then. Good morning guys, happy Friday, and thank gosh it's the end of the week because I am flippin' exhausted. But this morning we obviously got up, got ready, and as you can tell I'm wearing a lot more makeup than normal in my vlogs or just on a daily basis in general. But I wanted to try the new Leah Halton makeup tutorial because it's been viral on TikTok and I've been seeing it everywhere, so it looked easy enough that I could handle it not being a makeup person so i did want to try it out um i don't know what do you guys think i think the lip thing is definitely throwing me off sorry i'm looking in the viewfinder to like see but i use like a lip liner and then the summer fridays lip balm and i feel like my lips definitely look a lot bigger than normal which is like throwing me off otherwise like my face i feel like it's pretty pretty similar to what i would normally wear day to day other than like foundation i don't usually wear like a ton of foundation um, the eyebrow thing, mm, I don't know. I know the natural fluffy brows are in, but honestly, I don't have any eyebrows, so I do have to fill them in quite a bit, and it just doesn't give, like, the natural fluffy look that everyone's going for, um, so they're, they are what they are. They're pretty much the 2016, like, eyebrows, so, um, yeah. But otherwise, I think this is cute. Like, it'd be cute for filming day, date night, something like that. Anyways, I wanted to play around with that, but this morning we are on our way to the car wash right now. I'm just packing everything up and Hudson is down there waiting for me to get my stuff together and um, finish this vlog clip, but we are changing my tires from my winter to my summers tomorrow, so I want to go get my car all cleaned and everything ready and prepped to store away for the season, especially like after winter. It's just like gross and grimy so we're gonna go do that we also need to get groceries today and basically just hanging out at the house waiting hopefully for the wi-fi to be installed today cross our fingers because i'm running out of data so let's get to it All right, Hudson was sleeping for a while, so I decided to come to McDonald's and go get gas actually at Costco first, but I couldn't film anything because I was still playing music and his white noise with my phone and I did not bring my camera. So anyways, I've not had breakfast yet. We're having a tea. Mm, I don't know why, but McDonald's tea is like the best out of all the fast food teas. 
Better than A&W, Tim Hortons, all of the above. Got a tea because I had some points expiring. And then I also got a little sausage McMuffin because there's only like two bucks. But we better get home because Hudson is now awake and he probably will want to eat too. And he's been in the car seat way too long. So let's go. Happy Saturday. So sorry I flopped on the vlog last night. I just feel like we were like pretty rushed to try and get everything done. Groceries done, dinner, everything else in the time frame of Hudson's last wake window. It always just seems like really rushed on grocery days. So I did not bring the camera along because I just needed to get groceries done and focus on that. But I did want to share this morning, my FabFitFun box came for summer 2024 and I want to show you what's in it, but I will have a discount code down below as well if you want to get a FabFitFun box for yourself for 20% off your first box with a seasonal membership or with an annual membership, you get a free gift valued over $200, I believe. So thanks so much to FabFitFun for sending me a new box. I absolutely love FabFitFun though, because each season you get a fully customized box with full-size products that you get to try out and I feel like the value is really good because each box can be up to $350 but with like the annual membership I think each box works out to be $55 or with the seasonal um, I think it's like $69 which again I feel like it's pretty good for what you're getting in this box so let me show you what I picked for the summer 2024 one okay so here is the box it says here comes the sun which I feel like is super cute um, but in here we have the Amica mirror ball set I'm actually really glad I did not get this during the Sephora sale because I now got this in the FabFitFun box and it comes with a shampoo and conditioner. So again, these two alone are $40 each Canadian. Pays for it pretty much right there without all of these other products in here. But then we have the Fenty Beauty. This is the liquid kilowatt highlighter. This is what it looks like on my wrist as a swatch. I did do a swatch already. Super pretty though. I like the way that it looks. It's kind of more of a I don't know, rose goldy highlight. Then we have this cute little champion hat. Love that. Okay, this sleek stick is amazing. I just tried it on my hair and it has like slicked down my postpartum flyaways and baby hairs so well and it keeps it really good. So I highly recommend this if you're also a mom suffering from postpartum hair loss slash regrowth. This was so good. I'm obsessed. And then this is the what is this called? Sarah, Sarah Topical Cracked Heel Souffle. Again, I feel like my feet get so, I don't know, cracked and dry when I wear sandals all the time in the summer. So really excited about this. And it smells like a spa, which we love. And then back here is, this is like a little cooler bag, which I thought would be perfect for little day trips or picnics at the park something like that for the summer and this is from the brand business and pleasure it's like a cute little greeny blue color this is just so perfect for like little day snacks i can't wait to use this when we go out but that is everything in the box that i picked out but like i said this box was gifted to me so thank you so much to fabric fun for thinking of me and sending me one of these i am absolutely obsessed i still got to pick all of the products included in my box so if you want something similar or there's like lots of other things to choose from like lifestyle wellness home beauty fashion fitness. There's like so many different categories of products. I feel like you can find something that would suit you. I highly recommend checking out FabFitFun. So like I said, I will have a code and all the information down in the description, but you can use the code Gabby Lemoyne for 20% off your first seasonal box or or the code Gabby Lemoyne gift for your annual subscription free gift for up to $200. But right now we are getting ready to head out to go meet Damon at his parents because that's where we usually do our tire change since we don't have a driveway here and it is very dangerous to change it on the road, obviously. So I'm going to get Hudson and myself ready and we're gonna go do that for the day. I think I'm going to actually end this vlog now and then start a new one because we have some exciting things coming up. But thanks so much for watching and coming along for a few days in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed coming back to vlogging and just spending the days with you guys and like bring you along. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for more content and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye guys.